Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday, March 20th. It is 7.53 in the morning. I went to the gym this morning. I got up at 4, went to the gym by 5.30. Um, then I took my baby to school. Now I'm home. I'm cooking me some breakfast real quick, and then I'm going to shower, get dressed, and then go. I need to get gas. So I need to get gas, then head to work. So I'm honestly not sure what this um, vlog is going to entail. We'll just have to see as we go on. But I definitely um, plan on doing like a small book haul this vlog. Um, we are in the middle of reading Luca still. I plan today to set aside a lot of time, like that pretty much my whole day if it allows me to, to finish Luca actually. Um, because we have to keep going. It is March 20th and right now we have like 11 days left of the month. I'm not sure if I am going to um, beat or finish my March TBR that I set the goal for myself. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to accomplish that because March has been a little hectic as you all can imagine. But I'm not worried about it. We're just going to read as much as we can and enjoy the process as we go. Um... So yeah, that's really about it. I am about to eat my breakfast really quick so I can go upstairs, take a shower, and get out of here a few minutes earlier than I usually do because I have to get gas. Yeah, so I will chat with y'all in a little bit and that's when we're probably gonna talk about Luca more than likely. <laughs> So we have made it to work. It is 9.47 and I'm about to walk in at any moment now. But I did want to um, talk to you all about Luca a little bit. I'm getting out my Kindle so we can see. I can see where I'm at. Um, I don't think I really read much of anything yesterday. I think I read maybe about a total of maybe an hour and a half yesterday. And I did not read at all when I got home because I wanted to make sure that... I got to bed at a reasonable time so I can get up for the gym. So I am on page 116. I am 28% in and it is so good so far y'all. I absolutely love Lyric. I love Luca. Luca seems like, Luca moving a little bit fast. Like for Luca it's almost like love at first sight right now. <laughs> It's a little bit love at first sight for Luca. He's moving a little fast, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Um, I love Ever. Ever is just such a great mom, a great friend, a great daughter. Um, I can't wait to see how she is as a partner for someone. So, so far, so good. Um, there are three siblings for, so far. It's Luca, it's Lyric, and it's um, Lake. And I heard this is like the Eisenberg effect um, series. So I think we're going to get a book on each sibling. So I'm actually very excited about that. I'm excited to see Lyric because Lyric has already went through some things that um, I can't wait for them to touch on in her story. And Lake, Lake, the brother Lake, he seems like a player. And he seems like the goofy brother. But I bet you in his book, like I bet you it's a lot of layers to him. And we probably gonna end up loving him the most. That's usually what happens. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head inside. I plan to read as much as I can today. As much as I can. So I'm gonna to try to vlog as much as I can. My camera is only is on 17% and I did not bring my camera charger. So we'll just see what happens. But um, we're gonna go ahead and head inside work. Hope you all have a great, amazing Wednesday, and I will talk to y'all soon. Writing a book, and it will surprise people that the first book I wrote ever wrote was before I let go. Beauty, which only came out in November of 2022, but it's the first book I ever wrote. It's not what? the first book I ever published, obviously. I wrote it, I set it aside, and I thought it was crap. Wow. And my husband had
Okay, friends, so we are on page 260. We are 61% into the book so far. I don't know what's going on with my hair. And I am thoroughly enjoying it. This is definitely giving me wet pad vibes. Let me know. I don't know if I said this earlier to you all. If you are OG wet pad girly like I was, I used to love like the hood love type stories. And this is the vibe that is giving me. And I absolutely love Luca. I got to the part where I get, well, let me put it this way. I'm trying to figure out if this is a slow burn or not. Because we were well into almost over 100, almost 200 pages before they started to really um, have intimacy, I guess. And so I'm trying to figure out if this is a slow burn or not. But um ever she did i love that name by the way ever like that is so cute but ever did get out of a very toxic environment so i understand her hesitation on wanting to jump into the next thing but like dang y'all luca moves fast i'm not even gonna lie to you like he's already ready to mark his territory he's already ready to like be a step daddy <laughs> after two days like he's already ready to take care of her solely and you know what when you know you just know because when i met my husband y'all me and my husband met over seven years ago and we met in a hookah lounge y'all we talked let me give y'all a little backstory so we talked for i met him at a hookah lounge we talked the entire night i mean the entire night i think it was like three hours before we decided to go we exchanged numbers and then he texted me that next morning we met on a saturday that next day on a Sunday, he was at work. I was in school at that time, so I was doing school work. We were on the phone while he was working. We was on the phone for hours. And then that next Monday, I had class. We met up. We met up. So that was the second time I saw him. He came to where I was at. We went out to eat. Then he went to my school, y'all. He waited for me while I was in class. I had night a night class. He waited in the parking lot in his car until I got out of class. I'm going to give y'all in the depth, but this is like a very quick thing. And then Tuesday, I went to his house for the first time. And y'all, we, I mean, that the man, uh, the night I met my husband on a Saturday, we have been literally inseparable ever since. So when I went to his house on that following Tuesday, um, it's been a wrap, y'all. It's a wrap. So I, I say that Luca's moving fast, but it kind of reminds me of me and my husband. Like, when you know, you know. Like, you don't got time for games. When you are very interested in someone, they consume you. And that's, like, how me and my husband was. And that's really how me and my husband still are. We are so inseparable. Like, my husband is my very best friend. That is my dog, for real. Um, that is my lover. That is the father of my children. Like, that is my best my best friend so i'm reading this book and i'm like yeah lucas moving kind of fast but i get it though like i get it and they're grown like he's 36 years old she's 30 like we ain't got no time to play so it's really good so far i'm gonna check back in with y'all when i get in the car we have, I have about two hours left to work i'm 61 percent in so i'm going to see how much i can get done before the end of the day but so far so good so far so good <laughs> Hey y'all, so we are off work, it's 4.33, and I am 90% done with Luca. I am probably on like page 378, maybe about 380 at this point, and y'all, it is so good. I think this might be a four star for me. It has a, a lot of potential to be a five. I feel as though it could definitely be a five. The only thing is, I am battling between if it's um, unrealistic or if it's really just not that unrealistic, honestly. Like, I'm really trying to figure it out because when I think about how me and my husband met and how head over heels I was for him and how he was for me so quickly, but because we already just had such deep conversations from when we first met, like, is it really that unrealistic for Luca and Ever to have been like so heavily infatuated with each other that fast probably not 
so this is definitely seeming like a four four and a half star for me for sure um and i just could not put the book down i only put it down because i'm driving but it's so so good so far thank you to my girl alex for putting me on and i cannot wait to do a black um shout out this book for black author friday this week because baby it's so good but anyways y'all let me focus on this road and i will chat with y'all a little bit later i just um can't believe it's monday already i can't believe it's already 5 a.m already i'm tired i'm tired y'all i did not want to get up to go to the gym this morning like real talk did not want to get up do not want to go i really don't feel like it but i have to because of discipline i gotta have discipline would i rather be in bed right now cuddled warm cozy yes is that going to get me to my goals though no so eating some oatmeal about to go to the gym letting my car warm up a little bit and i'm gonna see y'all later we have finished luca we have finished um what other book were we reading? We, we finished the Inheritance Games. I feel like I'm missing a book. And we have started A Court of Silver Flame. So we have a lot to catch up on. But we're going to talk about that later when we're going to work. All right? Bye. friends it's a little dark i'm sorry like the sun is still like trying to come out but i hope you all can see me good enough um i have not picked this camera up since i want to say saturday but i didn't even i didn't even pick up the camera for this vlog i had picked up the camera for the video that came out on Sunday which was the inheritance games like reading vlog it was a new challenge that I thought of and it's a really fun video so if you haven't watched it I would encourage you to go check it out but um, in the span in the time span of three days so since Friday so Saturday Sunday and now today's Monday I have literally finished three books so I ended up finishing Luca I ended up reading and finishing Queen's Move and I ended up reading and finishing the Inheritance Games as well and I know y'all are probably like what what is happening I don't know what's happening either <laughs> but I do want to go ahead and talk to you about the book so I know last time we talked it was when I was at work on I think it was Friday maybe and we were reading Luca and I finished Luca and I think I ended up writing that four and a half stars that was about um luca and ever and pretty much ever was a single uh, a single mom of two and um she just found herself in a bad situation in a bad relationship and luca was pretty much like here to save the day it was given like a very toned down version of like a black mafia type of vibe because the way that Luca grew up and the way what he's involved in is just giving like a hood love story pretty much. It was really cute. It reminded me of like the OG Rat Pad days. And I don't know if I even talked to y'all about my wrap up already or not. So just in case I did, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it was a really, really good book. I am excited to get into the other um, Eisenberg effects um, books with lyric with lake and it might be another one I'm not sure I don't know if it's just about them three because to my knowledge those are the only three siblings so yeah and then we ended up reading Queen's move y'all and Queen's move was about Kimba and about um what is his name Kimba and Ezra I, I pray that's his name. I feel like it is though. I ended up rating that five stars, y'all. I loved it so much. Oh my goodness. Out of the Kingmaker series, the Queen's Move was my absolute favorite one. So if you're in the middle of reading, reading the Kingmaker series and you're not like, you're like, oh, the first two are just okay. Cause I rated the Kingmaker three stars. I rated Rebel King. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting y'all. Let me that might be a little bit better maybe maybe not hold on because i don't want the lighting to be too bad okay so hopefully that's better i adjusted the settings a little bit so like i was saying um 
I rated the Kingmaker three stars, the Rebel King four stars, and then um, Queen's Move was five stars. Like, what? Absolutely loved Kemba and Ezra. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was definitely like a second chance romance in a way because Kemba and Ezra known each other since they were like little. They babies, like their mothers. Their mother, yeah, was best the best of friends they were pregnant at the same time they were born on the same day they had the same birthday and then some family drama happened between them and then they ended up losing touch for years i mean i think it was 10 or 10 to 13 years i can't quite remember the exact number and then once they reconnect some people got some baggage and some people don't and it's just like i want you but i can't have you type thing and y'all it was so good i definitely encourage you to read queen's move for sure so i had some really good books and then i ended up reading the inheritance games on saturday and i actually finished it on saturday as well and the reason why i did not record me reading the inheritance games for this vlog was because i had a whole video dedicated to that on sunday that came out yesterday so i ended up writing that book three stars or three and a half stars it was okay to me it was just a little bit disappointing because i had an expectation that it was going to be sort of like the hunger games and sort of like um um like divergent in a way and it was like nothing like that you know and it was just a little bit confusing like it was just a lot of characters it was a lot of going on i'm still trying to figure out what was the purpose of some of the games and the riddles like i feel like we got turned in so many circles for what like we went through all these riddles and games for what like just for y'all to have a confessional like i just it was just all right it wasn't like the best book for me but i will go ahead and give the second third fourth fifth book a chance possibly because i did heard that, um it gets better especially by the third book so i will check that out the book that i'm currently reading right now though is a court of silver flames it is the last book of akatar i know cue the small violin cue the tears it is the last book of Agatar as of right now again i said this many times i think that there might be another one um, in the making, who knows when that is even going to come out though. So in the meantime, this is the last book. And I just started last night. I only got about 2% in before I went to bed. And I, this is clearly in Nesta and Casey's point of view, which I'm not mad at at all. Um, it's almost like Sarah J. Maz knew when to pivot because how much more can we like get from Feyre and Ryson? Like I love them down, but like their story kind of like wrapped up it did and it didn't like the the next step in their lives probably would be to like have a baby or something and you know um yeah so it's time for somebody else to shine um the only thing is that i did notice right now though is this book looks like it's written in third point of view but i don't even care for this book because i'm so in love with the story and with the world and with the characters already the change of point of view isn't bothering me too much but i am curious as to why she would do that um so if any of you have an idea as to why she would change her point of view in the last book like to third person please let me know but yes i am almost at work now i am very very tired y'all it was so hard for me to get out the bed this morning but i did get up i did make it to the gym thank the lord um i did not sleep in the bed and then i came home got some of lunch box together um got in the shower my husband got her dressed and ava was up and stuff got her out the house got her to school now i'm on the way to work so i will check in with y'all soon i don't know what time that will be but I will be sure to bring my camera in work into my job in case I have something to talk to y'all about, especially concerning the book. But in the meantime, in between time, I will check in with y'all a little bit later. Bye. Hey friends, so it is a Monday evening. It is 7.36 p.m. And oh my God, y'all, I have no energy, absolutely no energy. I was going to do a book haul for you all tonight, but I just, I just can't. <laughs> 
I just can't do it. So we will do it tomorrow morning um, before or after I get back from the gym. Probably before. And that's where we're going to end out the vlog. Typically, I like to end it out on Monday. Um, but because I went ahead and edited a lot of the vlog already, I'll just end it out tomorrow on Tuesday. So I only have to edit that little part, add that in there, and we'll be good to go. So I'm about to finish reading a little bit more of A Court of Silver Flames. We'll talk about that tomorrow as well. I just want to check in with y'all and yeah. Hey friends, so we have made it to the end of the vlog and we are ending it with a Amazon book haul. It has been a while since I have done one of these because I took a little break from ordering so many books. But as you all may know, I am still trying to build up my at home library. So all of these books that I have here are books that I've already read and I think they are such great books. I just wanted to have them on my shelf and I also wanted books to recommend to you all. So I'm not going to make this too long. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. I am in my girls room right now. Y'all don't mind the posters. They are on its last legs. But the first book that we have here, I honestly can't even remember what I ordered to be quite honest because these have been sitting in their packages for a while. All right, so the first book we have here is part of the, um, what series is this called? The Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. I absolutely love the Dirty Air series. I rated the entire series, all the books between five and four stars. And I believe Throttle, Throttle is actually the first book. I'm not too sure. Yes, it is. They have the number on the front. Yes, so this is Throttle by Lauren Asher. This is between um, about Maya and Noah. It says, Noah Slay is a Formula One legend in the making, focused, unapproachable, ruthless, on and off the track, a man with walls higher than the Grand Canyon, and my brother's new teammate. I want more of the prince who disguises himself as the villain, but while I crave a happy ending, he wants to destroy his. Noah says, Maya Alator is a forbidden temptation and ambitious post-grad I should stay far away from in chaos wrapped in a bow. We're a ticking time bomb about one, about one wrong move away from exploding. I want to trip the wire, de um, detonating together in passion and pain because in the end, all's fear and lust and war. I think this is one of my favorites, but I don't know because it might be... The other ones, but I believe I rated this a five stars, y'all. If you have not read or heard of the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher, I suggest you get into it. All right, so in this book we have here is Luca, which you all know I just finished reading by um, Greg Huffington. So I will not go into Luca again, but if you know, you know, okay? Um, the next book we have here is Love Theoretically. I actually have not read this one yet. This one is by Allie Hazelwood. Again, I read Love Hypothesis. I read Love on the Brain. I read a couple of Allie Hazelwood books. But um, I've been waiting to actually read this one. So I went ahead and got it. Um, this is about the many lives of theoretical phys uh, physicians. Elsie Hannaway have finally caught up with her. By day, she's an adjunct professor toiling at grading labs and teaching th thermodynamics in the hopes of landing tenure. By other days, Elsie makes up her non-existent paycheck by offering her services as a fake girlfriend, tapping into her expertly honed people-pleasing skills to embody whoever version of herself the client needs. Honestly, it's a pretty sweet, sweet gig until her carefully constructed Elsie burst comes crashing down. Because Jack Smith, the annoyingly attractive and arrogant older brother of her favorite client, turns out to be the cold-hearted experimental physician who, um, yeah, who had, I'm sorry y'all, I'm tired, who ruined her mentor's career and undermined the reputation of theorists everywhere. And he's the same Jack Smith who rules over the physics department at MIT, standing right between Elsie and her dream job. So yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Um, definitely feel like there's going to be some stem in here, but we'll see. I'm going to make this quick, y'all, because I have to go. My husband has to go, so I don't, I'm not going to read the back of all these books, but I'm going to, like, kind of skim through it. Here is, um, the other Dirty Air series. We are missing, I think, one more. So, number two is Collided. This one is following Sophie and Liam. And this is actually the fourth one. This is Redeemed following Chloe and Santiago. And Santiago is actually uh, Maya. Is that her name? Yeah, it's actually Maya's older brother who is also um, 
in Formula One and he is actually Noah's teammate. So it's juicy, y'all. So absolutely love this series as well. Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot I ordered this. And then we have, this is the third book of the Dirty Air series. This is Rex, and this one is about Elena and Jax. And then lastly, y'all, I read this um, a year ago, I believe. And this is actually the Selection series. This is such a cute YA, but I absolutely, I absolutely love this series. Um, this is something I feel like I probably would have read back in high school or so, but it still is very intriguing. I, I very much enjoy it. I will not get into this series in this video because, again, um, I do have to go, but I will make sure to talk about this with you all soon. But this was a four and, a four and five series book for me, and there are one, two, three, five books. The fifth one was like my least favorite, but the first four were pretty good. So, yeah, you all. So yes, so that wraps up my Amazon book haul. If you all have not heard of any of these books, I highly suggest you get them. I'm trying to put these in order for you all. Um, so I've read all of them. I've read all of these besides Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood, which I do intend on getting into that soon. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.